I'm not ashamed of the gospel, Paul said, because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, first for the Jew, then for the Gentile. For in the gospel, a righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Evangelion, that's the Greek word of gospel. This literally means good news. The English word gospel is derived from the Anglo-Saxon word Godspell, which meant good tidings. So gospel is good tidings, literally good news. The story concerning God. The word gospel appears 95 times in the New Testament. In the epistle to the Romans, it is mentioned 12 times. And in chapter 1, it is mentioned 6 times. Paul's repetition of the word in chapter 1 gave emphasis to the all-powerful power, gospel message. Today, gospel refers to the entire message of Christianity and the first four, four books of the New Testament. When you hear the word gospel, it's the entire message of the Bible, and particularly the, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It tells of the life ministry of Jesus Christ. But in this epistle of Paul, when Paul uses the word gospel, he refers, he refers to the good news that God has provided a way of redemption through Jesus Christ. And so when Paul mentions gospel, it is God's provision of a way to be redeemed in Jesus Christ. In the earlier part of this chapter, verses 2 and 4, Paul cites that the gospel is about the long-awaited Messiah whom God promised in the Old Testament through the prophets and later fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus who walked this earth, died for our human sin and conquered death through his resurrection. Paul was telling the Jews who were now part of the church at Rome that the gospel is the continuation of God's plan of salvation which began in the Old Testament. This is God's entire plan. In the Old Testament, He sent prophets. But in the later days, He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, the final revelation. It's an overall plan of God's, God's plan of salvation. The covenant that God established with Abraham, Moses, and Israel is now made perfect through the life, through the ministry, through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, which contains the gospel message. In a nutshell, the gospel is the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's the gospel, my friends. It's not about the story or history of this church. It's not about any history. The gospel is about the life, the works, the death, and the resurrection of Christ. That's the nutshell. And so if you're sharing something that is good news, but it didn't talk about the life, the work, and the death and resurrection of Christ, that's not gospel, my friends. Now, why is the gospel message very powerful? Why is it all powerful? First, it is God's instrument in bringing salvation to a believing person regardless of his ethnicity, gender, or social status. No matter what your past is, no matter what your person is all about, if you believe in the gospel, my friends, you will be saved. 